Hello everyone, it's your boy Chris Perifi here live on my YouTube channel and of course a lot of things but hey listen, with my crispy latest, I always have time for you guys. So today I'm here and of course uh, I'm going to be sharing my two cents with you guys and of course thank you so much for the old subscribers and the new ones, please don't go anywhere, stick and stay. In fact subscribe to this channel because Crispin always delivers something new every week. So um, thank you so much also for joining us and um, today we're going to be doing something very interesting of course it's something related with jobs so if you're interested about getting a job in belgium please don't go in the way get your pen and your paper in fact your popcorn and then your coke and wait for crispin i'll be right back Welcome back guys, in case you just tuned, this is Christmas 360 and of course, um, thank you so much for joining with me today. So today, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe, like and share, okay? And tell your friends and family, Christmas is here to stay, so please subscribe. <laughs> of course guys, so, you know, for some past few months now, I've been doing a lot about how to get a job in Belgium, where you can stay in Belgium, you know, transportation in Belgium. In fact, look, I'm obsessed with Belgium, like, I try to give you guys all the tips for the newcomers who are planning to move to Belgium. And of course, all in fact, those who are already in it, and not much time be wasted, let's jump into today's first topic. So, I told you guys that in Belgium, we have three regions in Belgium, like the Brussels, the Flanders, and then the Wallonia, right? Okay, so now you have chose where you want to stay, obviously. I mean, I know where you want to stay. And I told you that in Belgium, uh, if you really are looking for a job, most of the jobs are based in Brussels and Ghent. I told you guys this. Remember, if you haven't watched these videos, I'm going to leave the link in my comment section. They are all there. All the videos are there in my channel. So if you have, please, your questions, sometimes I see them and I answer some. Some I do not see them. So please, sometimes re, uh, you know, reframe your sentences or, you know, like, just like edit your sentences and just send to me. You know, even under this video, you can actually do that. Just send me the questions that you have and I'm going to be answering all these things. So basically, this, this video is actually going to cover like a lot of topics. So you guys remember a few months ago, I talked about where to get jobs, uh, where to stay. So this video is going to be like, to get off everything so you can ask any questions about where to find a job or where to stay then it's all in the same video so ask the questions under these videos please all right so let's start by saying this okay so from my last video a lot of you guys was like oh where can i find a job i don't know where to stay and all that i'm like you know what i'm gonna make a video for you guys where you can stay and i said Ghent and brussels are the best places you can stay right okay so today our next topic is which job agencies or in Belgium we call them interims they give us the jobs okay so we're gonna be looking at where you can actually find jobs in Belgium so uh if you have your opinion your paper let's start with this so listen there's a lot of job centers in Belgium like here we call it interims now interims are a place you go to look for a job okay they're like offices so they are specializing in the industry in the field that you have skills I mean you have experience as well so they are willing to help you as long as you have the skills or experience, like I said earlier on. So, um, I'm going to give you guys in fact, the top five places you can actually find a job. Look, there are so many interims in Belgium, so many interims in Belgium. But the problem is that if you don't take care, you might end up in the wrong interim. And then they might waste your time or they might prolong your process because they're not specialized in what you are skilled in. You know, and it happens a lot of times. So, I will just urge you guys not to go to places that... You yourself, you know that this place some yeah, just because you're looking for a job. Sometimes there are some interims, they are only specialized in constructions. And if you know you don't have any experience in constructions like Crispin, <laughs> why do you want to go to a place like that? You understand? So you always have to make your research very well. So you because trust me, looking for a job in a foreign country is so stressful and you don't want to add on top sending or entering into um interims that won't help you. I mean, you don't want to waste their time. They don't want to waste their time either, right? So, listen. So, the first top five interims or job agencies in Belgium that you can secure a job, okay? It's called Manpower. Yes. Manpower is the manpower of all the interims in Belgium. Now, this 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 interim is very, very popular, okay? I used to work with them. I think I still work with them, actually. They are the best when it comes to a lot of jobs. Like, for them, they do everything. Like, from retail to horeca horeca means uh hospitality they do everything like they do literally anything they can get you a job in any field you understand so it's one place that you really have to look into 
and then the number two is uh, synergy. Now, you know, I said um, manpower actually have a lot of like jobs for everything. Like they're like they are more like generalized and everything. Okay, but with synergy, synergy is also very specialized in generalizing and everything. But they are more specific in certain kind of jobs like the warehouse jobs, you know, cleaning, you know, agriculture and all that. They are very good in these things. So synergy number two, look into that also. And then three, number three, we have Ago. I go to they are very popular in Belgium here. Yeah, they give a lot of jobs. So yes, look into that also. They also give like generalized jobs. Yeah, they can, can get a lot of jobs from all. In fact, look, all the top five things I'm going to be mentioning to you, you can find any job on this kind of site. Because for them, they're like generalized. They are not specialized in anything. Whatever you're looking for, only if they have a place or a, like a vacant for you, why not they'll employ you, okay? So yeah, and the fourth one is Convent. Convent is also very good. It's another very popular place you can find a job, okay? And then the last one is the last one is Accent. Now, Accent also have a lot of beautiful jobs there. So please look into all these five places because, like I said, all these five places, you can find a lot of jobs there. The only problem is that most of them would like you to speak Netherlands, like the, like the, the what's called, the local language here, okay? It's either you speak French or, or Dutch. 90% of them would like for you to speak Dutch because most of the jobs, if you don't speak Dutch, they cannot employ you. That is the order of the day. So... That is the only thing that's the problem in Belgium. So if you know your Dutch or your French is not good, I mean, they will accept French and Dutch. But like I said, 90% of the jobs, they want you to speak French or Dutch. You understand? But of course, there are some people who just, who just don't care. Like jobs like the warehouse job, they don't really care about your language uh, proficiency. I mean, as long as you have the strength, because when you go for the interview, they'll be asking you, uh, do you have experience with handling or carrying or lifting weight and all that. So you have to be specific and don't lie just because you're looking for a job. Don't be desperate. Tell them what you think or what you can, what you are able, what you are capable of doing, because they don't want to surprise you, and you don't want to surprise them either. You understand? So, yes, when you go for the, all these interviews, of course, they'll need your ID card and then your bank details, because that's what they're gonna be paying your salary into. And of course, so just be honest, go with your CV as well. Don't just walk in there looking for a job. I mean, you, every, everybody says they can drive a car, but not everybody has a license, right? So you enter into an interim uh, shop or I'm sorry, office. Um, Show them what you can do. Present a CV. I mean, usually what they do is that um, usually you just have to create an account. You just create an account in one of all these websites. And when you create an account, you 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 just upload your CV into it and just make it more spontaneously. I mean, once they see, they'll just kind of contact you to arrange to see what job actually fits you. They are very nice people. Most of the people are very nice in these things. So don't be, uh, don't be you know, don't be uh, nervous. Don't be, you know, down. That, oh, I don't have a job. There's a lot of job in Belgium here. Belgium is one country that when it comes to jobs, you will find as long as you are legal, you have good documents, you are like, you are, you have the right to work, you know, basically. So look into that. And of course, um, they have emails. But even these days, as soon as you send them a spontaneous email, they like respond to you with your WhatsApp number. So most of them, you can actually stay in your house and actually WhatsApp them for jobs, like shifts and all that. So look into that, like I said. And the last one is actually not part of the deal, but it's very open for everyone to use it. I'm talking about Indeed. Now, with Indeed, you can find a lot of jobs on Indeed. I, I once upon a time, I found a job on Indeed. And with Indeed, of course, you know how it will. I mean, those who know, they know. With Indeed, you, have, you just have to create an account, upload your uh, your CV, your, you know, your, your credentials, basically. And then somebody will just contact you back. So, yeah. So, these are the five top places I think you can find a job in Belgium, okay? And these places, they are scattered all over Belgium. You can find them in Brussels. You can find them in Antwerp. You can find them in Ghent. You can find them in Wallonia. I go um, look into that. And of course, remember, like I told you, 90% of them will want you to speak the, one of the local languages in Belgium. But 10% might be like, oh, yeah, no problem with English and all that. Of course, if you work with Inter, when you work with Horeca, Horeca is like hospitality. With the Horeca, they really don't really care about what you speak, you know. They don't really care much because especially... When you're going to be a dishwasher, I mean, dishwasher, you're in the kitchen. I mean, what are you going to be saying? You understand? Who are you going to be talking to? You understand? But of course, if you want to be like a waiter or, you know, like a bartender or something like that, of course, they want you to speak in Netherlands or, uh, or French. So choose blue or white. All right. So, all right, guys, I hope this video was very short. And of course, I'll give you guys where you can find jobs. And if you have any question concerning this video, please leave it under the comment section, of course. And... And also from the two previous videos that I did, I told you guys about working or where to stay. If you have any questions, you can also leave it under this video. So I love you guys. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And then share. I need to hit 
it's a tin ticket okay uh i love you guys once again so boy crispin until the next episode of crispin 360 i have to sign out and say good night and love you all bye